What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And in today's video I will show you the latest news uh, and I have to say that news uh, is changing one another with extremely high velocity. And uh, for example this news uh, that was uh, made uh, just uh, yesterday is already outdated and I have to say that uh, we have not the best news uh, for the community right now and we have to take an action. And uh, everything I will show you in just several minutes. But for now, if you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. And this is the only way how we can uh, win this battle, because only this uh, action will give us an opportunity to attract more attention to our problem. And eventually it will lead to our victory. So let's start with this news that was published just yesterday, basically several hours ago, on franknes.com website. And uh, this news is titled New meeting with FINRA on MMTLP fraud to take place. And I want to pay your attention uh, at the very bottom of this uh, uh, article, you can find this. However, MMTLP investors are concerned about uh, misrepresentation of uh, the events that occurred in December of last year. Investors are calling out uh, for John Burda, former CEO of Torchlight, which merged with Meta Materials in 2021, to represent investors in the upcoming meeting. And uh, John said on Twitter, I am uh, reaching out uh, to my contacts for an invite as well. I will bring Wes Christian with me to take sure Finra is being truthful. And here's uh, his uh, tweet that he made basically on May the 20th. And uh, I've, uh, in my previous video, I've showed you this uh, tweet that was made by uh, Syntax uh, Queen of the Metaverse. And she wrote this. Good news, everyone. Tucker from uh, Pete Sessions office already said uh, they would have John Burda and Wes Christian in for a presentation. We would like that uh, in conjunction with FINRA. And uh, this uh, was uh, the... Uh, misleading information and uh, I am unfortunately I also made this conclusion that uh, John Burda and Wes Christian will be on the uh, Congress uh, meeting and it is not the case. Let me show you this uh, news. Uh, we are on mmtlpsources.com and uh, here you can find the latest update and uh, it says report John Burda invited to give Congress presentation and uh, here is uh, the information itself. Syntax has reported that a staffer in Pete Sessions' office has confirmed that John Burda would be welcome uh, to give a presentation to a staff at Pete Sessions' office. This is uh, separate from the Congress meeting on May 26th. The focus uh, this week uh, will then uh, be to have Burda invited to attend the Congress slash FINRA meeting on May 26th. It's important that we have a representative there to tell our truth side of the story. And uh, we can uh, think uh, of no one better than John Burda. The report from Syntax indicated that Wes Christian would also be invited in. However, John reported that Wes preferred uh, not to attend the Congress meeting if invited, so that uh, the presence of Conceal doesn't uh, stymie me the discussions. And uh, I have to say that uh, we have even more information. What should we do? And here is uh, the detailed uh, update. Urgent. Campaign to attend Friday's congressional meeting. Community, we need your help. This Friday, on May 26th, uh, as uh, many as 17 members of Congress and or staffers are meeting with FINRA regarding MMTLP. This was the original report here, and here is the link. Currently, the MMTLP community does not have a seat at the table, and this is absolutely essential for any type of resolution. Our efforts this week are contact... Uh, the Financial Services Committee and implore them to allow an MMTLP representative, such as John Burda, at the meeting. John is ready to attend, but as of now, he has not been invited to this private meeting. See the information below and please start making phone calls to these representatives' uh, offices and strongly, but nicely, ask for us to have John Burda at this meeting fighting for us. We cannot uh, have any more misinformation spread by FINRA without a chance uh, for rebuttal. And uh, here you can see, let me show you this uh, uh, list. Uh, it was made by John Savvy. And uh, here is the list uh, of uh, House Financial Service Committee with uh, uh, phone numbers. And you can click on it and uh, find it uh, more properly. 
you can read it uh, with a very good certainty as you can see right here and definitely we have to help uh, the community to uh, invite john burda to this meeting and for this case please uh, call these representatives and uh, kindly ask them to invite mr john burda otherwise we will see this uh, type of uh, representation and uh, this uh, another this is another information that is not so good for the community and uh, right here you can find that uh, the LMTLP community for now has uh, the uh, 56 uh, pages uh, document, 53 or 56 pages document, uh, 53 pages as you can see right here, that uh, was made uh, by James Angel and this document uh, represents uh, the MMTLP saga. And let me quote to this. The community now has a copy of uh, the presentation that James Angel gave to Congress over Zoom regarding MMTLP. You can download the PDF uh, of uh, the presentation here. It contains many misrepresentations, uh, including how MMTLP started trading originally. Syntax has also learned that James' uh, presentation was officially sanctioned by Georgetown, as reported by Tucker from Pete Sessions' office. This means the university is behind any mistrust and falsehoods found in the presentation. So, and here is uh, this uh, document itself. And uh, on the first glance, uh, it is a very well written and uh, very thorough document. But uh, the devil is in the details. And uh, you can read uh, this entire document. I will put the link on it uh, in the description below. And uh, from very from the very beginning, you can uh, find, for example, the speciality of uh, James Angel. And he wrote that he has 12 patents on financial technology. And the details are following that these patents are related to the illegal activity. That basically these patents help uh, the uh, market makers and uh, hedge funds uh, to illegally short selling and naked shorts in the uh, companies and for example uh, one of his patents is uh, payments for order flow another one is a uh, dark pools and uh, this means uh, <laughs> james angel is quite tricky person on top of that uh, he has uh, a lot of uh, details uh, that uh, he didn't mention basically a lot of details in this uh, document for example let me show you this on page uh, 46 i guess uh, you can find, uh, yes, you can find this uh, screenshot. It is the screenshot from the uh, FINRA website. And here is the link on this uh, uh, screenshot. You can find, uh, you can see it that uh, MMTLP, first of all, was uh, had a U3 code and it was uh, halted on December the 9th. And then uh, on December 13th, it was deleted. As you can see, uh, it is a D1 code. But he didn't mention that uh, it happened not uh, on December 13th, but it happened much, much later. And here is the official uh, finra.org website, and here is the FAQ directly related to MMTLP story. And right here they wrote, the MMTLP trading halt notice published on December the 9th. MMTLP halt ended uh, concurrent with FINRA's uh, deletion of the MMTLP symbol which occurred on December 13th, uh, 2022. And here is uh, the information that is 100% correct. But next statement. Uh, FINRA's website was updated on February 16, 2023 to reflect the December 13 end of the trading halt. This update occurred later than normal due to a coding issue introduced in connection with this system migration. The MTLP shares were cancelled by issuer on December 14th and uh, so forth, so on and so forth. So, uh, even in their own FAQ section, they stated that uh, uh, this symbol and this uh, update was made uh, uh, almost two months later than it happened, that it should happen. And uh, this means, in my opinion, it is a ridiculous excuse that they have a system migration. And uh, we all know because of uh, the FOIA request and uh, the letters that were disclosed uh, recently, that uh, they knew about the problem of MMTLP and the next bridge hydrocarbon shares, and uh, they make it uh, they made it intentionally because they didn't know what should they do and how they can solve this problem, and that is why this document uh, 
uh, is not the uh, document that should represent our community. And that is why please uh, uh, call to your representatives, call to these people and ask them to invite John Burda in order to have the best representative that we might have on this meeting. And in my opinion, this is the main thing that we have do together as the community to make this happen and uh, to solve our problem. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. And uh, see you guys and girls next time. Bye!